going on YouTube? It's Doom Wolf, and uh, this is going to be a video that's probably more for my outdoorsmen, knife collectors, all that kind of stuff, viewers. Um, this is a display case of all my knives, different items, stuff like that, and uh, I just figured I'd show it off to you guys. Uh, just want to point out right now, if you hear any running water, I'm in the basement of the house, all the plumbing run throughs here. Uh, it's not always fun, but you know, got to deal with what you got to deal with so this is my display case i have um a good decent amount of knives in there although it's not even close to all the knives that i own uh, a couple different meaningful items and uh my rifle stuff like that so let's go ahead and get into this so this top layer up here i do want to point out light bulb up there that whole mechanism is broken <laughs> and uh so not really much i can do uh, this top shelf up here, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. I have uh, my K-Bar back here. So, K-Bar, of course, back here. Pretty sweet knife. Let's fit this guy back in. Uh, another mossy oak blade right here. Shotgun cell back there. Uh, this guy right here is a NRA. So, Americans First Freedom. And then a signature right there of someone important in the NRA. Uh, but let's see, uh, NRA and then 458 Win Mag. Uh, this was actually my grandfather's. Got it from him. And um, so, yeah, I'm actually not a member of the NRA. I keep meaning to sign up and uh, just keep forgetting to. Uh, and then over here, got a round to a Barrett 50 cal made into a bottle opener. Uh, but this is an actual round. And I got it at a gun show a while ago. These things are pretty popular. This thing's been beat up, <laughs> used it a lot, and uh, but yeah, pretty sweet. He asked me. And then uh, right there are uh, beads of courage. It's just a thing that uh, kids with cancer uh, sometimes do. And uh, unfortunately, I had some health issues earlier in life. So yeah, let's get on to uh, the second layer right here. The second layer right here is uh, kind of a lot more personal items. Uh, Back here, I have some of my first blades I've ever gotten. Uh, this knife right here, Ozark Trail. Uh, blade right here was one of the very first blades I ever got. This thing is dirty, I did not realize that. And uh, this one right here is a gold-plated, spring-assisted uh, M-Tech. It's kind of cool to look at. No real practical use to it. Uh, but yeah, gold-plated. Pretty sweet knife, looks cool when it's uh, lit up on, so yeah. Then, getting right here, just another old uh, homemade blade. My grandfather actually made this one, he got the steel from it, of course. Uh, two small blades right here, this is a little Winchester uh, blade, one of the first ones I ever had. Uh, this little one right here. And then uh, right here we have the uh, American Snipers Challenge coin uh, in Hawk Signo Vincez, if I'm saying that properly. Uh, through this you will conquer. Challenge coin I've had for a while. Back here, uh, my black belt ring. Got that last two years ago. <sighs> Holy cow. Um, when of course got my black belt. And then an Eisenhower silver coin back there. Let's go ahead and get back down here. Back into here, these blades are uh, all, almost all of them are spring assisted, except these three guys right here. Um, so, just different blades that I have, all spring assisted. I have an army blade right here, Tac Force, Marines, pretty sweet blade right there. Smith & Wesson Oasis. Uh, this one is not spring assisted. This knife is a pretty cool knife. Uh, this one I have here is the Tac Force Speedster, and uh, has the completely wrong date of when knuckle knives were used, but a uh, pretty cool knife, brass knuckles on it, of course, and then uh, spring-assisted. This was my very first uh, spring-assisted blade, has the handle, handle of a firearm, pretty cool blade. My dad actually got this for me for a birthday or something like that, uh, but yeah, I love this knife, used it a lot, and... Uh, opens you know it's just kind of had a lot beat out of it actually pretty expensive i think it was around 50 60 bucks and uh but yeah it's withstood a lot of time damage and then uh 
if you guys have seen a couple of my different videos talking about knives, uh, I'm a big fan of buck knives. And uh, so I have this buck uh, 285 right there. And then this is the buck 710, I believe, 721. And uh, both of them, you can see, I've had a lot of use out of them just because I really like buck knives. Down here, this is a really, really old, old Gerber blade. Um, it doesn't even have any kind of name. Uh, nope. No any name on it. But I uh, found this in a box in my grandfather's place after he passed, and I've just kind of always held on to it. Um, so, yeah. This was... Uh, one of my grandfather's hunting blades. As you can see, the acid from uh, deer and all that is completely eaten away at it. But it is a Monarch 2131 blade. Original sheath is in there. I have a boot knife right here. And I, this might be a Gerber. Yep, sure is a Gerber. I really like Gerber knives, uh, but this is a really nice boot knife. Had a lot of use out of it. Love this one. And then these are both blades that my grandfather made. So this blade right here used for fishing. And then uh, this guy back here is uh, another one that he made. So can't just keep that guy back in there. Jeez, clinking everything around. All right, now I'm moving on down here. Let me watch my step here. Right there is my Henry Lever Action 22 uh, rifle made by Henry Repeating Arms. Really sweet rifle. I'm going to get a video about it up later on, uh, hopefully within the next few weeks. And then below the rifle right there is basically uh, just a couple different personal items. Uh, right there, actually, have bullets in there. Uh, but down here, I keep my EDC things, think, uh, blades and stuff like that that I cycle out of using every day. Um, so after seeing my EDC video, uh, my Buck 110 is right there, uh, flashlight right there, boom, multi-tool, uh, Leatherman, Spyderco, Tenacious, I called it an Oasis in uh, the last video, uh, another multi-tool, my watch, uh, my pen blade, Mini multi-tool wallet, self-defense tactical pen made by Smith & Wesson. I'm going to get a review of this guy out soon. Paracord, and then uh, just a couple 22 rounds that I found kind of sitting around. Um, so yeah, basically this is one of my display cabinets. Well, actually the only one right now that I have. And uh, I put this together today. Old cabinet on my mother's decided she didn't need it, so I told her I'd take it gladly um so yeah I don't know how many other people have displays around their house uh make a video response reply to me whatever and uh tell me what you think and thank you guys for watching be sure to like favorite comment and subscribe